Hey, what's going on guys? My name is KJ Whippy and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Now, I made an April Fool's video that got a lot of people. And honestly, I thought it was really funny. But you may notice that I'm I'm a little bit a little bit different today. Um considering that there's a little tiny man up in the corner there, and also I can't I can't zoom in. And that's because I'm in Minecraft Bedrock and I'm going to be making my first, my, keyword my first, Five Nights at Freddy's custom build in Minecraft Bedrock. A lot of people have been asking for this and a lot of people are going to be getting what they've been asking for, but I have here a bunch of different tests and stuff for different blocks, like seeing how they look, but there is just a bunch of stuff in this pack. Now this is the Five Nights at Freddy's build and decor uh, add-on for Bedrock. So if you uh, want to check that out, it's by a YouTuber called Herxes. Link in the description to both their channel and to the download uh, site to be able to get this for yourself. Um, this is currently on the Windows 10 version, so I don't know about getting this on anything like Xbox or Switch or anything like that. I don't know if you can do that. Not not entirely sure. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy what's going to happen here today. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be going absolutely crazy. I'm going to be making a nice, custom, spooky, you know, FNAF-themed location that's going to hopefully, hopefully, provide a lot of uniqueness to uh, the location. Because the last time I built this kind of thing, it was just, oh yeah, let's just make a recreation of it. Nah, this time it's going to be, it's going to be my own take Similar to like if you've seen things like uh, fan games and stuff like that where they just have like these completely custom layouts and stuff. It's going to be exactly like that where I'm just going to be making my own, making my own thing. It's not going to be like the, the ultimate one where it's like security breach themed. No, nah, this is going to be, this is going to be better. So first things first, let's get ourselves a layout and go from there. Hey, this is editor Kyle. I just wanted to throw in real quick. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you subscribe because it helps me out and it helps me pay for college and it helps me uh, feel better. Big numbers mean big happy, hee <laughs> hee. No, but seriously, thank you everybody so much for your support over the years and uh, yeah, thank you. I know April Fools was kind of mean, but I love you all. All right, here we are with our layout. So as per usual, I'm gonna be going around just telling you guys which rooms I think are gonna be what. So we've got the red square in the bottom middle there, and that's going to be the main security office. That's where we're going to be doing all of our stuff. That's where everything important is happening. That's us. So of course, there's those two hallways that are directly next to it on either side. And in those hallways, there are the blue and orange rooms on the left and the pink room on the right. Now, the pink room on the right is going to be the breaker room. So that's going to be where all the power stuff is, the generator, all like the random you know, electrical bits and stuff that you'd find in a place like this. That's where that's going to be. And then the blue room on the left is going to be like the supply closet from the first game. And then the orange box is going to be like a storage room. So there's going to be a bunch of boxes and just random containers of a bunch of junk from throughout the years. That's going to be that kind of room. The brown room on the right and then also that gray room right there. That's going to be the kitchen and then the kitchen supply room and also the delivery room as well. So there's going to be a big garage door that's going to be open there that uh, the delivery trucks can come and drop stuff off. We of course have the main party space inside the center there with Foxy's Cove on the left with the magenta blocks. We have the yellow stage. We have that green square up in the top right. That is the uh, prize corner. And then the lobby and the entrance is right there in that purple. And then to the right are the bathrooms in the dark green. Right next to the stage up at the top is the parts and service room. And then, of course, those two rooms that are right there are completely brand new to this kind of layout because the white one is going to be the ball pit room with a stage that's also set out for the original animatronics, the Fred Bear and the Spring Bonnie ones. And then the gray room is going to be kind of an arts and crafts room, I think it's going to be. Not entirely sure yet what I want to do with it, but that's kind of what I was thinking when I made that. And then finally, that black square at the very bottom, I wanted to save that for last because that's going to be the secret safe room where, uh, you know, things have happened. I'm sure if you've played FNAF, you know what happens there. So now it's just a matter of settling on what kind of walls, what kind of floors, what is going to go where. And um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that.
All right. So I've already done some rearranging. As you can see, that green square is no longer up there. The prize counter is now going to be back here like I had it before, just because I like the way that it looks when it's over here. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just it feels better over here. So also, this area here is not going to be an arts and crafts station like I previously mentioned because I don't, I just don't. I don't want to do that so instead I'm gonna be making this some extra seating so for people that may want to come here just to get some food not necessarily watch some shows they can come in here and there's gonna be some booths and stuff they can just sit and have some pizza there's gonna be some strut about here as well but just to just to make make it feel more you know like a restaurant there's gonna be a lot more seating in there also extended out the ball pit section for this area here and there's gonna be a bit of an arcade and stuff in here so this will kind of be like the play area this will be the party area stuff like that so it'll be it'll be it'll be cool so now we got to do is the walls okay I decided I would screw around with this a little bit and this is just this is just goofy oh my god it's completely stretched my skin apart but it's hilarious oh my god Ooh. <laughs> and so we have all of the ceilings and walls in place and uh, now it's just a matter of getting all the proper lighting and the proper decorations for everything you'll notice i also have all the animatronics in as well um we've got the the ogs over here and i went ahead and made a reference to the uh into the pit book but i'm gonna be adding a bunch of detailing decorating lighting all that stuff in here as well so i guess first place i'm gonna do that is probably the office all right here we are with the security office and this is a pretty standard five nights at freddy's one security office we got both the doors on either side I don't have any lights because I don't know which light links up to this, so I'm going to look into that. But at the moment, I just wanted to decorate it. And we've got the classic poster, all the papers, the fan actually turns on. It's got sound and it's fun. Yeah. And we've also got another little table back here with a bunch of papers and some monitors, posters, stuff like that. And of course, the light up above, which looks really nice. And of course, you can turn it off. And it doesn't take away the texture for some reason, but I'm not going to question it. So I think next I want to do the main party room, just because I feel like it. So let's go and do that. So here we have the main dining room, all nice and decorated. Now, I'm honestly surprised with the options that we have for decorating in here, because you can use this little changer tool thing to adjust certain blocks. So obviously the ones I'm picking right now aren't working, but like you can change the paper pals you can change the color of the hanging stars you can change the little cutouts you can change the walls you know there's a bunch of different things that you can mess with oh even the color of the presents that's cool that's awesome but yeah i have here as well the prize corner and i've made sure to include all of the main animatronics and then also a bunch of the devs and the uh the lightning mcqueen plushie that's in here as well but as you can see we have the curtains built up for all of our animatronic friends we have the uh, main stage here with the little chica rainbow thing in the back there in the clouds that was a nice touch and then a bunch of banners the lights the speakers the tables and chairs and all that great wonderful stuff so now i think what i'm going to do is work on both the dining room area and then also the uh arcade slash play area i think that'll be next All right, so these aren't as nearly detailed as the other rooms that I've done so far, but that's because they're a bit simpler in design. So I have just a bunch of booths here. We got some some FNAF decorations and stuff inside it, of course, to still fit it with the theme of the restaurant. But it's mostly just booths. Some of them are the kind of half booth, half regular seating uh, for some of these. So that's pretty cool. I did forget to grab the trash can, though. Trash, trash can. Yeah, there we go. 
And then inside the arcade room, we also have the machines, which are all themed to different characters and stuff. And then we have the seating for when the showtime starts, where uh, Fred Bear and Spring Bonnie do their stuff, although Spring Bonnie seems to have preoccupied himself with being creepy inside the ball pit, like I mentioned before. But yeah, these rooms are pretty simple and uh, also pretty done. So next I could do the parts and service room, which I think is exactly what I'll do. So, uh, let's do it. And here we have the spare parts room. Now, it's not as detailed like I mentioned with the other ones, um, just because it's, it, I don't know, I think it fits the way that it is right now. It's got plenty of workspace for stuff. Unfortunately, there's also, there's another endoskeleton that doesn't quite work. I think it's still in the development stages, at least for this add-on, but nothing, nothing pops up. I can break whatever armor stand it's attached to, but it's not, it's not popping up. So I use this guy instead. And I think it works. But yeah, just a bunch of shelves, a bunch of spare parts, nothing too out of the ordinary. And so we have the bathrooms as well. I went ahead and did those because they're kind of easy and pretty simple. Just a couple toilets and stalls. The walls automatically connect to doors, which is interesting. I didn't realize they do that, but uh, that's cool. And then um, we have the sinks made out of cauldrons and tripwire hooks. There's no built-in ones like there are in the Java mods that I used, so this is gonna have to do. And the mirror, unfortunately, doesn't have connected textures like it did before either, so the mirror is a bit less convincing. But hey, you know what? That's okay. So next up is the kitchen, and it's gonna be pretty simple, and also gonna be using some of the vanilla Minecraft blocks, like furnaces and stuff, because um, there's no built-in stoves or anything, which is fine, I don't mind that at all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start working on that too. All right, and the kitchen is now complete with all of the different ovens, stoves, shelves, the dishwashing area, and of course the supply room and delivery area, which has a bunch of boxes and stuff in it as well. Pretty simple stuff, pretty neat stuff. And um, yeah, I also have the three side rooms in the hallways also done with the uh, power room with the generator made out of some pistons, a desk with an old computer to be able to do like some logging and stuff like that keeping track of stuff, and then, of course, the electrical box, which you can actually interact with, so that's pretty nice. Got the creepy little light inside here and some pipes and stuff. Pretty nice stuff. Also, yeah, these doors are technically entities, so I can walk straight through them, but you can still open them by crouching and right-clicking or whatever, so that's pretty nice. Also, on this side, we have the supply room, which doesn't actually have light in it, and I think that's pretty fitting, uh, because, you know, a lot of supply rooms in places like this will not, for some reason, have lights, so I think this works perfectly. So, we've got the random junk from all the animatronics and all a bunch of boxes and shelves and stuff. Pretty simple stuff in comparison to what we've seen elsewhere. And then also with this one, we have the mop closet, which is like from FNAF 1, where we have Bonnie staring up into the camera, which, um... By the way, there's cameras in this mod. Am I gonna set them up? No, because I don't I don't feel like doing that. But all that leaves us with is the main lobby. And I think it's going to be as simple as getting a little reception desk. And this lobby is as simple as done. Is it pretty? No, not in the slightest. But does pretty fit Five Nights at Freddy's? No, not in the slightest. And I believe that does it for our interior decoration. Now, I don't think I'm going to do an exterior just because this layout's funky, and man, my creative juices are not flowing right now. So I'm gonna leave this up to you guys. What would you put out here for the exterior? Would you base it off of the movie? Would you base it off of the fan arts? What would you do? What, what would you put in this area? Now, obviously, you can see that I still have the wool and stuff underneath this, but, I mean, in a hypothetical situation, if you're playing whatever FNAF game this might be, you're not going to see the outside. You're going to be too busy cowering in the office like a big baby because, wah, wah, big skilly M1 tonics. Don't appreciate the cave noises as I'm talking, but that, you know, whatever. Yes, I guess it's time for a little bit of a tour of the area. So, of course, we have in here the lobby, and there's not a lot to look at, but it gives you a little bit of sneak peek. You can see Foxy in there. You can see some of the tables and decorations and stuff. So, you know, wandering guests can actually, like, see in there and be like, ooh, that looks interesting. Let's pay to go in. So you pay to go in, whatever, or not pay to go in. I guess you get a reservation or you get a seat, whatever. And you come in and you see 
the party room. Now this room is bright and colorful and it's got themes of the games, themes of the movie, um, noticeably, the backgrounds of the stage is more like the movie. This drawing wall here is a reference to the movie as well with the spring trap, uh, or the spring bonnie drawing that's in the center uh, that gets torn down by Abby. And then we have uh, different entrances to different areas as well. We've got the bathrooms here, which are, uh, you know, pretty self-explanatory. You go, you do your thing, and uh, hope that nobody watches you do it. We've also got the prize corner here, which, uh, you know, it's got a bunch of fun little things. Got a bunch of little honk honks from all the fun little guys. And uh, the devs here as well, which I think, I, I love that the devs have their own plushies and stuff. I think it's a really cool detail. And this is actually a really good time for me to remind you guys to go check out the original creators of this add-on. There's a link to Herx's channel in the description, so go check that out because uh, everybody's put a lot of hard work into this. You can tell that a lot of hard work has gone into this, especially for Bedrock. It's insane. It's, it's really cool. We have our animatronic friends here. We got Foxy, who is unfortunately out of order. And we have the main three, Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, who are on their stage doing their show. And these speakers do play songs, but none of them work except for the last one. Oh, not even that one. Okay, cool. Yeah, my music's turned up and everything, and it doesn't it doesn't play. So that's fine. But these guys are, these guys are singing and dancing and having a good time. In the parts and service room, we have the various heads and parts and stuff to be able to repair our good friends on stage. And uh, we have pathways leading to both the main stage and also to the side stage over in the arcade area, which happens to have Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. Well, Spring Bonnie is currently not on stage. He's being a creep like always. And um, yeah, the arcade room has got some fun arcade machines, a really cool sign that lights up and spins around and uh, some chairs and stuff to be able to watch the shows, and of course, the ball pit, because who could forget the ball pit? Connected to the arcade room, we have the extra dining room, and this is simply just some more seating for people who want to be able to just have a good meal, sit down, enjoy some time with family in a fun area, but not really like pay too much attention to like the parties and stuff that might be going on. This is the quieter kind of corner of the restaurant. And I have to say, I love these seats. I love the pizzeria style, chairs and stuff like this is a really really fun design it gives me the vibes of like classic pizza hut if anybody if anybody watching this is old enough to remember that uh good days moving along we have the kitchen which is currently closed off typically i see this as like a type of pizza buffet to, you know come grab it as, as you're going and getting food or whatever you can just walk by pick up a plate and, and get your pizza after you've paid for whatever buffet fee there may be but it's currently closed off right now and if we go inside, we got the kitchen, which has all of the wonderful ovens, stoves, shelves, dishwashers, and all that stuff going on in here. And the storage room, which opens up to the garage, actually. The garage storage room where somebody can drive up and drop off stuff. Or, I guess, in terms of the movie, then break in and destroy everything. We're just gonna shut that and hope that cupcake doesn't eat my face. But in the same hallway, we have the power room, which has the generator, computer, the power box, and a spooky cave noise that comes along with it. We also have the security office, which is uh, complete with your classic FNAF 1 style. It's got the fan that works, it's got papers, it's got posters, it's got lockers, it's got the chair, it's got the doors. It doesn't have lights because I've searched through this entire add-on and I cannot find a single light that actually fits with these buttons. I, I don't understand what the problem is, but it does not work. So that's unfortunate, but it's nice. The, the aesthetic is nice. But yeah, that's the office. Pretty, pretty standard to what your Five Nights at Freddy's experience might be. And then if you head out to the other hallway, we have a storage room, like I showed before, with all the extra animatronic parts and stuff in there, some extra boxes and shelves, and then the janitor closet as well with the mop bucket and the broom, some extra waste bins and more storage and shelves and stuff. And, uh, yeah. As I pass through that first hallway, you may have noticed this door in the corner here, and I did mention at the beginning of the video that that is the safe room that gets boarded up and left behind. And, um, I'm gonna leave it up to your imaginations. I'm gonna let you guys guess what I put in there, because I think it's fun to involve you guys. I like getting your guys' ideas. I like seeing what you guys do. You guys are cool. But that is going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider leaving a like. And if you really enjoyed, consider subscribing, because it's free and you want to do it. And if you want to see more Minecraft videos or more videos in general, 
I do that stuff. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider doing all that. And I hope to see you all in the next video. So until then, I hope you all stay safe. I love you all, and I'll see you later. Bye!